there has been a lot of focus on how crypto is used to fund terrorist organizations and militant groups. So since the Palestinian militant group Hamas launched an attack on Israel at the start of October, the role of crypto in funding militant groups and terror organizations has really come into the spotlight. Hamas itself has been known to raise money via cryptocurrencies. Over the past few weeks, the Israelis have frozen several cryptocurrency wallets it said were linked to Hamas. Many people say that crypto is an extremely useful tool for these kind of organizations. It's largely anonymous. The money that anyone sends over the blockchain, that's the technology that underpins cryptocurrency, is usually just identified by a string of letters and numbers. It's difficult to track and this means that for militant groups or terrorists seeking to raise money, crypto has become a very popular tool. Now, it's not completely anonymous. Cryptocurrency companies, that means exchanges, as well as law enforcement organizations, can actually work out who is sending the money, but it takes a bit of work for them to do that. The United Nations official said in 2022 that about 5% of terror attacks were considered to be financed by cryptocurrencies. A variety of cryptocurrencies are known to be used by terrorist groups and militant groups to raise funds. That said, while Bitcoin is popular, stable coins, that's the type of cryptocurrency that's designed to keep a very steady value, have become more popular in recent years. There are also a number of other sources that these groups use to raise funds. That's anything from charities, shell companies, investments overseas to also raise funds. So crypto is definitely part of the mix, but it's very difficult to say exactly what proportion.